the let's dive in using the Google Pixel 4 XL since five days and this is my review of this unit it's pretty accurate um, everything I'm saying it's being written down on this device as I'm saying it which is kind of crazy um, right now it only works in English of course it's working on uh, bringing um, bringing it to more languages um, and then of course you can pause it you can see UIs I never used this before see when I said the word pixel pixel 4 Excel yeah it, 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 it works just like it was announced it's pretty awesome I'm not gonna lie uh, but yeah let me tell you guys something about why I I, uh, I always go for the pixel phones first for stock Android um, secondly for its flat display thirdly for the speakers this thing the speakers are loud even though they're not, they're not front-facing speakers they're pretty loud they're pretty cool uh, the other thing is um, it, it's flat display uh, the reason why I don't like Samsung devices is because of the curved edges I feel like they're unnecessary and now Huawei is implementing them on their devices with 88 degrees curved on both sides which is nuts that's I don't know I, I don't think that's necessary um, so that's one of the reasons why I love this pixel phones I don't like iPhones because I don't like the iOS system I don't like the fact that you can customize the apps however you want them uh, and so that's why I keep going back to pixel phones because I I love the flat display I love the stock Android this is how Android should feel now one thing I want to talk uh, about something that some uh, the, what a lot of youtubers are not mentioning is the fact that when uh, whenever you have like a bank app you used to be able to log in with uh, either your fingerprint or an iPhone with your 3d face ID now this has not been implemented on this device so for security apps that use like passwords um, you are gonna have to go back to so credit karma is one of them see it's got a passcode instead of a fingerprint scanner like you had on the pixel 3 XL on like this one it doesn't have any fingerprint scanner on the back you know it, so it just relies on 3D Face ID. Unfortunately, this 3D Face ID, the only feature future has now is to log into your phone. Um, so I'm hoping this gets uh, developers will enable this to unlock with your face because doing this, putting the passcode on here, it really really sucks uh, because. You want to get into your bank app. You want to get into the other apps that you're used to, without having to to put a password on it. And so it's kind of frustrating at the moment. Um, so I hope Google or softwares or developers. I don't know how this works. Uh, hopefully they get that fixed because it's kind of annoying at the moment. So, anyways, uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. Uh, if you're new to this channel, uh, please subscribe and. Share this video, it'll help a lot. Uh, I've got more videos coming, um, so stay tuned. Thank you guys. Until, 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 ugh, until next time, see you and have a good day.